Hey everybody, and welcome back to Inscription. So I've left this little uh, intro bit in here because we get to follow up right after where we ended up last episode. So let's take the camera and see if we can take that picture of him. I think we've beaten the card game component of it now, and we are ready to see what's happened. Who gave you that? Ah, uh, take the picture. Whoa, whoa. Hello? What was this thing? Random people? There's a lot of flashing. So this is his card. We just like carded him into the wall. Can't do anything else with him. Oh. So this is the room that we usually die in. Or well, when we die, we go into here. He has no damage, one heart, whatever that means. Or oh, no heart, sorry. Um, can't do anything here. There's like a candle out there. I guess. Oh. No. Oh no, that's something. All right. Oh. New game. No. Okay. I can't do anything here. It must might want me to go in and start a new game. So let's go to the start screen. Yeah, all right, nothing. Everything else here is still normal. Nothing weird. Ah, uh, no, definitely not reset save data. All right, let's see if we can start that new game. There we go. New games. Obviously, it's not. Whoop oh, oh. Renewal. In the beginning, the world did not know cards. Oh hey, it's a, it's a bone hand the globe. That is, until the day the scribes arrived. Hey, that guy on the top right, that is, um... Each had their own method of inscription to create cards. Gamora used her quill to inscribe the epitaphs of the dead. Leshy used his wildlife camera to capture beasts. Leshy, well that was the one. PO3 used a particle scanner to copy the CPUs of robots. And Magnificus used his brush to paint his wizard pupils. With the cards created, the scribes had solidified their power. Until one day, a challenger arrived to replace one of the scribes. Is that me? Choose a starting deck to mark your ambition. Well, I already defeated Leshy, right? Oh, actually, maybe I haven't. Um, let's do stuff on the left. Yep. All right. Yeah, all right. Can I do anything else? Oh, this is actually a wall that blocks me too. Let's see if I can uh, interact with anything here. Nope. Nope. Okay. All right. Um. So. Let's go with the... Let's start from the left. Your ambition is to replace Grimoire and become the scribe of the dead. De dead. Oh, all right. The scribe of the beast. The scribe of technology. The scribe of the magics. You know what? I'm an engineer. Let's do scribe of technology. The cards were added to your collection. Oh, we're, we're still that guy playing, I guess. Oh. Hello. Woof. I was just about to call it quits out here. But now that there's a challenger in our midst, it's back to work for me. I should be able to get this bridge fixed. Full disclosure, it takes me exactly as long as it takes you to defeat one of the scribes. So, uh, come back later. Um. 
Well, it's, this is the undead one. Let's just check for this one. Actually, you know what? I could also go left here. A treasure chest. Salmon. Waterborne. Also, at the end of the turn, as owner's turn, salmon will move in the direction. Oh, okay. So it has the two inscriptions. This card was added to your collection. There was a tentacle there. I can't do anything else here yet. Interesting. Alright, let's go into this house. You pry the chest open and found a card pack inside. You received a beastly card pack. Okay. The the Honkroll. Salmon, the Honkroll, Waterborne. Uh, also when it's played, provides an energy cell to its owner. Raven will strike an opponent directly, that's fine. Steam bot, six energy cells. And Hover Mage will strike an opponent directly even if there's a creature. Okay, that's fine. So blood must be for beasts, battery must be for robots, bone must be for the dead, and this green thing must be for magic. Cards were added to your collection. That must be what it is, because now there's four different mana types. Dang, damn it! That dang hound got herself lost again. You think you're getting past? Think again. No targets and proof of Miguel's alright. Bubbles there. Two out of three? No. No fish, no pass. So here's the angler. Uh, what was my 273? I think it was. There we go. You take a stinking. You take a stinking mile of pile of meat from the safe. There's a faint odor where the meat once was. Oh, right. I remember. Oh, I remember doing this. Alrighty. Uh, so flying. This will do two, three. What happened here? No, that gets blocked out. So one. Uh, actually, what, what am I doing? I'm an idiot. Why can't I just do this? One, one, two, one, two, three. Oh wait, so that thing gets blocks it. So it doesn't block the flying. These two kill it, and this would only do two. All right, so I need the adder to kill it, and this will do five, right? Because then, oh, flying there, one, two, that gets blocked, that kills it, and that will do two. So this will do five. Nice. The door will creak open, and you found a pack inside. Receive a beastly card pack. Bloodhound, yeah, that's fine. When a player is placed in a bloody creature this place, and it moves to that space, that's fine. When an energy bot is played, it provides an energy cell to its owner. And this is the hover mage again. Oh, another one. Are you, or are you Lee? Yep, that's the 7-7. Seven, seven. And this is the hawk. We'll strike it upon it directly if there's no creature opposing it. That's right. The cards are added to your collection. Can't do the other side. I don't want to talk to him just yet. This would be the room where I got knocked out. Alright. You wish to trade. You don't have... You don't for chance have any parts? No, that is disappointing. But I also accept foils. Foils? Foils? I don't have any foils. That must be... Yeah, I have zero foils. Altered deck. Okay. Interesting. Actually, do I check if I can do any of this stuff here? Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Let's see if I can beat this guy again. Stop shaking. The only thing you have to fear is your own inadequacy. Behold me, I am Leshy, the scribe of a beast. We share a desire for you to challenge me, but first... I know what you're thinking. No, this is not my legendary camera, not the one I used to create beast cards. This one is a mere replica. You may use it to create photos of the beast in these woods. My subordinates, the prospector, the angler, and the trapper. 
They each require a photo before they consider battling you. Return to me when they are all defeated. Um, okay, so how do I find the people? No fish, no pass. Okay. Is there an inventory of some kind? Can I take this boat? No? Uh, I guess we go down. Uh, cool. You're here! Oh, wait a second. This looks like the stink bug face. You're here, marvelous. I'm Grimora, scribe of the dead. Until quite... Oh, and the stoat was the robot. That's why it became square. It's all making sense now. Until quite recently, I was disgraced. Though I was returned to my former glory with the help of some unlikely friends. If you wish to test your skill against me, you must first prove your wits. You must discern which tomb marks the final resting place of my lovely ghouls. You found a piece of an epitaph. It reads, Eaten by a hungry dog. Okay. Oh no, no. Don't look upon me. Do not snarl, sniff, I beg you. If you wish to battle, please let us get it over with. Oh, something's wrong. It's your deck, or rather, your lack of valid one. You've got 20 cards in it, right? Cool. Um, oh. Cool. That looks much better. Where were we? Yep, I'm P Yeah, this is the stoat. Yep, I'm PO3, okay? You picked my starter deck, that means you have to learn to use energy. Do I really have to explain this to you? At the start of each turn, you increase your max energy. Spend it or not, doesn't matter. At the start of your turn, your energy refills to the max. Get it? Where's my energy bar? This one. Okay. So I guess I'll just play one of these to block it. See that you spent your energy, you play the card, but you get it back next turn. Sick of feeling for me? Well, I'm sick of talking. I've got important work to do. You'll see me later. Okay. What does this do? Oh. Oh, this just kills the card. Alright. This is a scale. Alright, well, I'm just going to take two damage then. Now I have two energy. Interesting. Alright. If I put you here. Bonehold leaps over to block. That's fine. Because I'll only take two damage. Instead of three, because I can't come in. Leap bot will block an opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. That is fine. So I'll do that. I'll do that so that they can't move. Bonehard leaves over to block, that is fine. So I'll do two damage. That's not what I wanted. And there's three first. Prevents. After I attack and prevent, Revenant perishes. Revenant collapses into a pile of bones. You do the same. Five energy. I do not have five or six energy. That is fine. Move to a new space. I'll take three. One, two, three. That would be bad. Skeleton collapses into a pile of bones. That is fine. Uh, now I can summon the fiber. One energy. I'll kill that. That's fine. Skeleton collapses into a pile of bones. So this will give me one extra energy. Steambot? So just a 2 2. Bone ho horde leaps over to block. Sure. Kills that. Does one damage. I'm not playing any more cards by the looks of it. Playing this provides an energy cell. Oh, but it can't go over my max. Okay, okay, that's fine. Um, if I do that, for example, yeah, it'll, it'll bring me one and it costs me two. Okay, well that's fine. I'm learning. Oh, all right, this is a blood sacrifice one. Oh, right, right, there we go. Okay, energy cell, and I do that. Okay, cool. Excess damage. Excess damage is foils. That's what it is. 
Alright. Everything has started to make sense. It is over. You chewed me out. Now please look away. Turn your eyes to the card pack and sit. Receive the destiny card pack. Yep, these are all the bone cards now. Alright, alright. Also, at the end of the owner's turn, ghost ship will move in the direction described in the sigil and drop a skeleton in its place. Now that's cool. Headless Horseman. At the end of the owner's turn, we'll move to the right. That's fine. Can't be sacrificed when, when Draugr perishes, the creature inside is released and is placed. That is fine. The Undying Cat and a wizard. A triangle wizard? Pay 3 and to increase the power and health of Stim Mag by 1. Mage by 1. I am called Sawyer. The middle stone marks my grave. Please do not go digging up my bones. Better read Sawyer. Oh. Sawyer. And I'm pretty sure he's the dog. Just because he was afraid of the bark and bite. Oh, it's gonna go further down. And you found a piece of task brought down by scurvy. A gust of foul smelling air bellows from the casket. Whoa. You have no offering? I see. I put toy in the middle stone marks my grave. Do not sniff or snarl. Yeah, alright, so that's the dog. Sits with the bones of fabric card pack inside. Sarcophagus will grow into a more powerful form after one turn on the board. Yeah, that's fine. Pay two bones to increase the power and a bone heat by one. Very cool. Is there a free cost to play? Energy, ghost ship. Cards are added to my collection. Hark, I live in slice of lemon approaches. Bright and trig as a lion. You think you squeeze a defeat out of me? So he will move to the right, which means he can't. So that, that bone will die. I only have one thing to do, which is here. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Oh, it moves to the left then. And it submerges itself. Ah, uh, that battery is useless to me, so I might as well kill this thing. That is fine. Alright. So even if I play these two, it is useless. Ghost ship moves to new space. Yes, yes, yes. That's just a defender. Even if I put these guys down. Oh, it provides it. It actually just gives me the spot for it. So I should have played it earlier. So that's how I ramp into it, I guess. It's like playing magic. But this should give me the last cell. There we go. So I unlocked the last cell early. That's essentially what it is. And now they're also sacrifice fodder. Like so. Um, and then that's a 1-3, that will kill that, that's fine. I can now just hammer you to bits and bring you in. Cool. Nice. Right. So there, the things are a little bit weak, but that's okay. I can probably fix up the deck a little bit, but I'll do that in a bit. Hey, you beat the pulp out of me. Firstly, take ye this. Yeah, uh, broken oval. When broken oval dies, four bones are awarded instead of one. The wizard. When blue mage is played, you draw cards equal to the amount of mox cards on your side of the board. I don't know what that means. Ah, uh, because you're best of me, with ye I'll share me secret. My name's Royal, it's the far right tomb, here's the headpiece. Royal Dominiquas. Dominiquas? That's fine. Ah, what does this say? 
You found a piece of epitaph. It reads, does not hold a grudge. Okay. Oh, presumably you're left then. Brr, did someone leave the AC on? Oh, come on, dude, it's freezing in here. Maybe a heated battle will help. Here's all the frozen. Banish your strike opponent directly, even if there's a creature opposing it. I'll put you there. I'll sacrifice you for that. I don't want to kill that yet. Provide an energy cell. Perfect. I'm going to block that too. Because you won't attack. Uh, might as well. I don't have to kill that thing, at the very least. I'll block again. Might as well get you out. There we go. Foils gained. You won, but now I'm a bit less cold. Take the pack on the house. Tomb robber. Pay one bone to create a skeleton in your hand. Fair enough. Uh, mummy lord. Uh, this is a diamond shape this time? Mox cards on the owner's side of the board gain one power. Grizzly. Okay. You did beat me, so I guess I gotta fess up. The name's Case KKC. The Hobbs. I'm from the tombstone on the left. You found a piece of the epitaph. Let's put that in before I forget. I mean, there's not really that many options here. I brought down my scurvy. Does not hold a grudge. Well, we know the left guy probably died to the cold, but he's probably the scurvy. By process of elimination. I'll check the wells in a sec. I'll check the left hand side. You wish to trade? Alright, so he requires four. I can buy packs or I can buy the cards. I'll do that later. Alright. You pulled an epitaph piece. The defibrillator failed. Sure. You brought a final piece of epitaph. It reads, hit by a falling piece of ice. Uh, among the giblets and scantily. A new card, Grave Digger. The end of the owner turn will generate one bone. Cool. What's up here? Gotta be the last epitaph piece. Oh. Found a piece of the epitaph. There was no cure. Oh. Oh. I'm an old man. What does that do for me? Does it do anything? All my cards are still here, right? Yeah, looks like it. Okay. Let's, uh... Oh! Must be a look change, I think. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go with... You! I can be some little robot dude. Brought down the scurvy, there was no cure. Um, does not hold a grudge. And you were hit by a falling piece of ice, and the defibrillator failed. There, there we go. Marvelous! I believe you have proven your wits adequately. Are you prepared? You will not defeat me. Uh, I'm gonna edit my deck, and I'll be right back. <laughs> 